One thing I'd like to talk about with you is learning how to balance both licks and movement together in your guitar playing. What I find a lot with guitar players is sometimes I have guitar players that just have all of these different guitar licks and they'll just play a lick and then they'll play a lick and then they'll play a lick and then they'll play a lick. And then on the other side, I get guitar players that don't really know any licks and they're just moving, 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 moving around, moving around, moving around. What I want you to be aware of is learning how to balance guitar licks with movement, which, which I refer to as meandering. It's like going outside and just walking around because it's a nice day, right? You don't have any rhyme or reason to your walking. You're just, you're just walking around. We can do the same thing in guitar. We can meander across the, the fretboard um, and then try and get inspired to do a lick or you know, to emphasize a, a note or, or whatever it might be, you know, play a phrase or whatever it would be. So as we start moving around the guitar... <laughs> Now, right now I'm just playing an A minor pentatonic. I'm just using the same standard A minor pentatonic scale, but I'm just using it across the entire fretboard, which again, obviously, is very important to learn how to do to get some creative freedom to move across your guitar this way and not just play this way. So as I'm meandering, as I'm moving around, I might decide that I've come across a spot where I want to do a lick, which if you think about it, what a lick really is, is just a repetitive idea. It's creating something that you're going to do uh, repetitiously over and over and over. You see, it doesn't matter where it happens, but it's learning how to combine those elements. So I start meandering across the guitar, just playing kind of whatever, whatever comes to my mind. And of course, combining elements of pausing which is usually where I'll add vibrato onto a note, or literally stopping, which is entirely stopping the, the, the vibration of the strings, right? So if I'm going... So those are all kinds of different ways that I can meander. Then what I need to do is, is start trying to find some place where I'm going to create a lick, something that is impactful. Like if you don't have a lot of licks, it's nice to have a lick because it's something that the ear can grasp onto. So if I'm playing... You see, all of a sudden I'm doing a bunch of little licks within the context of my movement, of my meandering. So I went from here, somewhere up here, whatever I was doing, and I came down and I went into this little repetitive lick. Then I went into this little thing, where I was just hammering from five to seven. Again, I can make a variety of, of kind of my tempo as I'm doing this to make it more interesting. And then I went into a trill. Okay. Now, again, I, I, it doesn't matter what licks I play, that's entirely up to you. I mean, every, every guitar player has their own kind of bag of, of guitar licks that they like to use. What I'm saying is start learning how to kind of space those licks out and add some ability to move in between. Of course, your movement is going to be dependent on your confidence and mastery of whatever scale that you're trying to play. You know, if you're trying to play A minor pentatonic and you don't really know the scale of A minor pentatonic, you only know this first position, you're not going to go anywhere. And then you're going to be stuck playing those same licks over and over and over because you don't have any licks anywhere else. Um, and so that's why it's nice to be able to think about meandering as kind of a thread, right? It just threads through all of these optional guitar licks and then you just paste in whichever licks that you want or patterns that you want at various places. They don't have to be even and they shouldn't be even. You know, you don't want it to be predictable. You don't want to play, lick, play, lick play lick. The playing can go on for a long time. Or you might have a couple licks real close together, you know, things like that. But the point is, is to start getting confident with being able to move across your fretboard using the idea of just, again, meandering. Just you're walking outside and you're just going to walk around and then you see the McDonald's and you go, hey, I want a cheeseburger, right? Or dear Lord, I don't want a cheeseburger. Whatever it would be, it's entirely up to you. But at least it's, it's, it's in your line of sight. If you hadn't gone outside, you might not have thought of it at all. So that's really the, the fun of meandering is getting out there. And then once we get somewhere, if we decide we want to do some sort of lick, then we can throw that in. So it's pretty cool.